day, isn't it? I overslept. Oh, well, a little extra sleep is good for you now and then. Ivy showered first and used up all the hot water. Then my loving sister left without me and I didn't have time to eat breakfast. <laughs> no breakfast? Well, everybody knows breakfast is the most important meal of the day. Come with me. I think I have some cereal in the office. <laughs> Huh. That's odd. <laughs> Let me see if I can find that cereal. What the? Mr. Tater, that really hit the spot. This new security system will make sure no one's able to sneak into the school at night and set up a prank like that again. And by using these teddy cams, no one will suspect they're under surveillance. <laughs> hey, Adam, we're raising money for the student council by having a computer pair people up with their perfect match. <clears throat> a computer? Love is unquantifiable. It's the electricity between two people, the unspoken language when their eyes meet. No computer can find you that perfect someone. I agree. You see, Echo's not gonna sign up for some matchmaking farce. We are so much alike. I've already signed up. It'll be fun. Exactly my point. Echo and I both love to have fun. Give me one of those forms. We are so much alike. Oh, good. I'm glad you're here. I've been trying to fill out this questionnaire so the computer matches me with Echo, but these questions are impossible. I mean, how do I know if her favorite rodent is a flying squirrel, a capybara, or a Great Basin pocket mouse? <laughs> Just do what I did. <laughs> They're all three. I'm submitting every combination of answers. That way, I'll be matched up with every girl in school. <laughs> Interesting plan, but I think I just used the process of elimination. Elimination? How are you gonna get rid of every other guy in school? <laughs> no, no, I'm just gonna... I've got it! A fake scavenger hunt that'll take him to every corner of the globe. <laughs> the only thing they'll find is disappointment. I mean, I'll ask questions in class, which will allow me to figure out, for example, if Echo would describe herself as a city slicker, beach bum, or country kid. Okay, class. Later this year, we'll be dissecting a pig, but we won't be able to do that unless we can catch one. Does anyone here know how to hogtie a pig, Echo? <laughs> Yeehaw! <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on a second. <laughs> okay, go. <laughs> Cold still, little piggy. I guess you'd say you're something of a country kid. <laughs> I don't know about that. I learned it from a movie I saw downtown. Ah, downtown in the city. <laughs> yeah, after a day at the beach. Sounds like a pretty fun day. <laughs> Great, you brought in all your students' forms. No, these are derbies. <laughs> oh, just add them to his pile. I see the computer dating thing is going well. We've raised over $3,000. Some of it from not Derby. 
I just dropped by to say, what up? I'm not letting you see Echo's form. <laughs> Besides, it's already in the safe. The student council takes security very seriously. We don't just leave valuable items lying around. Why would you think I wanted to see Echo's questionnaire? <laughs> and if I did want to, why wouldn't you let me? It is my duty to keep those forms private. There's a lot of personal stuff in them. For example, did you know Hutch Anderson loves roller skating? <laughs> well, I'm off to the cafeteria. to me. <laughs> okay, Echo's questionnaire is in the student council office. Getting there should be easy thanks to this blueprint of the entire school. You know I work here, right? I, I think I can find my way around school. Yeah, I had to do this anyway. I have a hard time remembering where my English class is. It's right here on my left butt cheek. I, I believe you! My key only opens the doors inside. I still need a way into the school. Well, we wouldn't have this problem if you let me bring my catapult. It would have been a simple fling up to the second floor. Stick to the wall with suction cups. Glass cutter on the window. Stick your hand in to unlock it. And voila, you're in. But that window's open. That'll work, too. You're staying out here as my lookout. We'll maintain radio contact. Fine. We'll need some sort of secret code for when you get to the student council office. How about I'm at the student council office? Great, let me write it down. Honored to mop your stage on tour, Rady Gaga. What do you see in there? Shh. Dave's asleep. His bed is blocking the door. Use the magnet. I mean, use the magnet. <laughs> spray in the front pouch. Okay. And I also made you a sandwich. Cameras everywhere. <laughs> wow. When did they find the time to install them and all those decorative teddy bears? <laughs> this would have been so much easier if some joker hadn't pranked Tater. Joker? I prefer the term Gagmeister General. <laughs> that was you? You'll be fine. Just stick to the plan and hug the walls.
Okay. I've made it past the lockers. Great. Everything is working perfectly. I'll make sure Dang is still asleep. I just need my flashlight. There's my tambourine. <laughs> Is the morning already, Reef Monkey? Uh-oh. I think you woke up Dang. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Why do I smell water? He's probably still groggy. He's just trying to blend in. <sighs> so thirsty. He wants a drink. What am I supposed to do? Don't worry. I taped something to the side of the drinking fountain. <laughs> Here. Where? The student council office? Yes. Well, I don't know that if you don't tell me the secret code. <laughs> I'm at the student council office. Okay, let me check the encryption cipher. Excellent. <laughs> You're at the student council office. <sighs> it's padlocked. How am I supposed to get in? Check the first locker to your right. What's this? A trampoline. You're welcome. <laughs> when it comes to sneaky, I think of everything. Where are the instructions? Right here. I told you I think of everything. Could you read them to me? First, I must inform you that you should consult a physician before beginning any exercise Could program. Could you just read me the instructions, please? OK. Unfold the trampoline, then attach the pivot spring between the torso frame and the spring post. Seems to make sense. Derby? What are you doing here? Same thing you are, sir. Really? I didn't know you did Tai Chi. There are lots of things you don't know about me. For example, I do Tai Chi. Isn't it wonderful? I find that focusing the mind solely on the movements of the form helps to bring about a state of mental calm and clarity. I could use a little mental calm right about now. <laughs> then shall we? Ow! Let's begin with the Tso Lu Si Nu Pu. Ah, my favorite of the new poos. Next, the four corners. Ah, the four corners. What corners? The trampoline is round. Hey, what are you talking about? Sorry, I forgot about you. I was in a state of mental calm and clarity. How about I take the lead? As you wish. Grasp a leg and put it on the bottom. Got it. And now another leg. And now the other two legs. Other two legs? I usually do Tai Chi with my dog. <laughs> Next, pivot spring. The pivot spring. Found it. And twist. <laughs> and twist. Oh, oh, ah, 
What happened? Were you snake creeping down when you were supposed to be grasping the sparrow's tail? Well, I'm gonna go to the cafeteria and get some ice for this. While I'm gone, make sure the white crane doesn't spread wings. <laughs> Good one, sir. Have you consulted a physician yet? Why? Tater's on his way. Now, dive head first through the glass. That's your plan? Jordan, I found a key! Uh. Looking sharp, Teddy Cams. Very important that you slow your breathing and listen for the sounds of the tumblers. Absolute silence is imperative. Gervin, I can't hear the tumblers. Sorry, applesauce will be quieter. to what? I don't know. Storage cabinet, I guess. The forms must be in there. Yes. Looking for this? Oh, come on. Sorry, I'm not letting you see Echo's questionnaire. How'd you get in here? The school is locked. I borrowed Derby's catapult. Question 57. Her favorite root vegetable? All I know is it's definitely not celery root. Hey, Adam. Can I ask you about this? That's your dating questionnaire. How'd you get that? I asked Ivy to give it back. Anyways, I was thinking Yeah, that... it was stupid and pointless, and who cares what your favorite root vegetable is? <laughs> Actually, I answered all the questions truthfully, but now I wonder if I should have told a little white lie here and there. Lie? Oh, no. The truth is a rare and beautiful thing. And here in my hands, I am holding the truth. Honor it. Embrace it. Capture it forever. In fact, I will. <laughs> anyway. I'd love to stay and chat with you, but I have a lot of papers to grade, so don't forget to hand this back to Ivy. Out you go. <laughs> Celery root. <laughs> You're so much alike. <laughs> like well, Echo's about to be matched up with... Alan Small. What? <laughs> oh, hey, Alan. <laughs> Looks like you and I were matched up. Oh, great. I was thinking we could go to the science center. I love science. <laughs> I love science. I love science. <laughs> Your stupid computer dating program must have a flaw in its algorithm. 
Echo and I gave all the same answers. <laughs> the program doesn't look for people with the same answers. It looks for compatible matches. You could be paired up with the last person you'd expect, but if the computer says it's meant to be, it's meant to be. Hello, Ivy. <laughs> looks like you and me are meant to be. Of course, computers can be wrong. And after the Science Center, you can come over and see my collection of exotic bacteria. Kay. I'd love to see that collection of bacteria. <laughs> that Alan and I, we are so much alike. Oh, it's so nice of Derby to join me for Tai Chi again tonight. <sighs> hmm. That's odd. some joker did to me. You look upset, sir. When I'm upset, I retreat to ride tiger. <laughs> and twist. 